Hi, this is Magnar, and welcome back to the next episode in my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to apply a shield pattern that you've created or edited um, and apply it to a unit's shield. Uh, for this purpose, as I've created a stupid little shield pattern, I'm going to put my name on the front on the front of a, the, sh the unit shield that we've created in the previous. Uh, episode. So here's the pattern, and that's what it should look like. Now we don't need to have this open, so I can quit out of GIMP and go over to what we'll need for this uh, episode, uh, apart from what we've already been using, is a hex editing program. I use this one here, and I'll put a link to the one that I use down below. Uh, you can use any one that you do that you want, you don't have to use this one specifically. And we'll start off by going over to the to our tutorial, uh, our working folder. Now I've already put that image in my working folder. I've created the uh, directory structure already, added the variant models folder, man, patterns, Hellenic, and there is my image. Now to add it to the game, first things I need to do is I'm going to go to the vanilla folder where I keep it. We extracted all the vanilla uh, models and VMDs. But first, I'll open this in one. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Open it in a new window and we'll go to the extracted stuff. All right, models, man, shield. Don't need that anymore. Okay, and we'll. Oh, not shield, sorry. Uh, patterns. And... Hellenic. Okay. In this folder here, we have two types of files. We have texture array files, and we have the DDS files. DDS files are the image files. Um, and they, they can be both make normal files, like this, which kind of determine the height uh, creates kind of a 3D effect, or just the actual texture image that we're going to be doing. This is a diffuse, not a normal, um, and I've also used that in the name. It doesn't have to have diffuse in the name to be recognized as a diffuse, but it just helps you with organization a bit. Now these texture arrays, uh, these files can actually link to multiple uh, DDS files. But we've only got one here, so we're only going to do it for one. But if we look at, we're going to copy one of the vanilla, any of the v vanilla ones from the vanilla table, and I copy it from the same directory as well, just so I don't have to change as much text in it. And then I paste it in my working file folder. When we open this up, you'll see that it actually links to a number of different uh, diffusers in this folder here. Um, but we only need it to link to one, and we need to link to it specifically this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, so right click, open with the hex editor that you've got, and it should look something like this. Now we can, this is kind of squashed up here, essentially what this does is it reads it, reads all the bytes in the file and translated, ra translates it into text. So you can see here, 56 is a V, 61 is an A, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but we want to stretch that out a bit so we can read it a bit easier. So let's do 48. That's up here. Change that to whatever you want, and it stretches it out a little bit. Uh, okay, so this actually only links to one file in this folder, but you can actually do it to multiple. You can have, if you put a dot dot here, uh, then you can put this again and change it to, uh, let's say, uh, 4. All right. And then it would link to those two patterns from vanilla folder. But we don't want that. We just want to have our own... Oh, not that. We want to have the one we just created before, which is... So we'll right click, rename, and we'll copy the name directly as we always do. And we'll select where we want to paste it over, which is the name of the 
old folder file and we'll paste and save and that's pretty much everything we need to do with that so we can close that you can see here it's created a backup we don't need that backup so we can delete it and then we'll re rename this file uh, the same as we named this one we don't have to we can name it whatever we want but for this I'm going to I, I like to name it if I'm only using one diff file if I'm only refer referencing one uh, DDS file then I'll use the same name if I'm doing more, then I'll name it a bit differently. Okay, so that's all done. Next thing we need to do is we need to add it to a shield variant mesh definition. So what we'll do is we go to the vanilla extracted, and we'll go out of here a bit as well, both to nah, patterns. Okay. Now we're going to go to shield. We need that shield directory, so a folder, and copy it exactly as written there. Shield. And shield here. Now this pattern I've done is for a hoplon. That's kind of how it's spaced out. So I'm going to use. I'm going to find a vanilla VMD for a hoplon, um, and add it to it. So we're going to go down there. Here we go. Here's some. This one will do. So I'll just copy the vanilla file, vanilla VMD, and paste it. And then I'll rename it. Again, I'll rename it the same because I'm only referencing one pattern. Uh, magma shield. That's fine. Uh, and then we'll open it with Notepad++ or whatever you're using. And you can see the vanilla one actually references... Well, it's all the same model. You can see the name. Well, two, two different models. We, we're only going to use one there, so we can delete one of them. And... It's all the same diffuse. Why do they have all these different lines? And you find the answers here. What the masks do is it changes which part of the shield gets which color. Uh, in the database tables, you can assign three different colors to each unit or to each faction uniform color. And with this little thing at the end, you can change that around and mix it up. So mask zero equals zero is normal, what you're going to get normally. But here they decided to go, okay, we want to make mask 0 equal 2, which means whatever color we have for mask 2 will now be used for mask 0, and whatever color we have for masks uh, 1 will be used for mask 0, and mask 2 will be mask 1. So they just shuffled it around a bit, and that's how that thing there works. You don't have to shuffle all three, you can shuffle one or two if you like, and you can mix and match those. For this, we're not going to do bother with that kind of stuff, so we're just going to delete all these rows below, so that we have only one, only one shield pattern, and we're going to change here the decal diffuse. This is what we want to change. At the moment, it's going to the right folder uh, that we put, put our, we're going to put our shield pattern in. So, which our shield pattern is uh, man patterns. Lenic. Okay, so this is our, this is the directory for our the path for our files, and we've got to link that. Make sure that this decal diffuse, which is that shield pattern that we, this is where we assign it, links to this file here, not this, but this one. So if we name that something different, we put that name in here, and this one will then link to this. That's how it works. So we'll rename this. We won't rename it. We'll, we'll click rename and copy the name, and then we'll come in here and select the name there and paste. This is just to avoid typos and I'll do it pretty much for everything. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Everything else can remain the same and we can save it and quit. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add those to our working folder, to our working, to our mod pack. So let's go to where our mod pack is. Here it is. We're going to be working with this one still. So we're going to open that up. And go down here. And we're going to want to add, let's add firstly this, these two files. We're going to have to create the data, uh, the, fi the, files, the folder structure first. So we're going to go right click on variant meshes, add empty directory, here it is, underscore 
variant models empty directory man add empty directory patterns of course if you've only got two files uh, in this folder which we're going to add all of them then we can just select that folder to be added. so we can just select the whole thing itself to be added but this is just the wrong way because as we progress you're going to have more and more files and you're not going to want to add, want to add all of them possibly to your mod pack so with that variant models man patterns into directory Hellenic and now we can add those files variant models man patterns Hellenic and we just select both of them okay and there they are now we can save that and now we want to also add the shield that we just did the VMD for the shield so let's go right click on man add empty directory shield add files okay there it is and save that lastly what we want to do is we want to edit this unit to actually reference our new shield VMD which will then as we saw this will reference the texture array and the texture array will reference the DDS file that's how it all comes together so I'll open this uh, because I'm only doing one quick little edit I'm actually just going to do it in PFM rather than extracting and then re-adding it and we can go here because we can see the shield is here knowing that because here is written shield that's the folder it's looking in and we're just going to change the name from Hellenic Hopeline, Hellenic Hopeline Hopelite say that ten times fast and we're going to change it to Magna Shield I to say that we're going to have to click out of it first and then when it's all red we know that it's changed and then we can save it and just to show that to you again there's the change okay now let's quit out of that we're going to add, copy that and add it to our data folder now to copy we'll add it to our data folder for run 2 We'll replace the old one we had there and we can launch that up in game and you can see my name on the unit shield uh, I'll put up this practice texture here in the links below oh not this one sorry patterns or you can create your own this will create the thing and um, also a link of course to the hex editor uh, yeah, so I'll see you in game. And there you can see the unit with Magna written on their shield. And that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.